But six, a guilty verdict for city commissioner Joe Carroyo. Earlier today, a jury found him guilty of violating the First Amendment rights of two men who operate a string of businesses in Little Havana. The business owners accused Carroyo of orchestrating a vendetta against them because they supported a rival candidate for public office. As the federal lawsuit came to a close, jurors ordered Carroyo to pay more than $63 million in damages. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten reports. And once and for all, it feels great to finally smush that cucaracha. Little Havana businessman Bill Fuller letting loose after a five-year battle with Miami City Commissioner Joe Carroyo. After a seven-week trial, the jury found Carroyo violated Fuller and business partner Martin Panilla's right to free speech. The jury awarded $63 million in damages. Not only was he a bully, but he was also a coward. The pair owned businesses in Little Havana, including the iconic ball and chain. Fuller going on to say he felt vindicated. When these people try to rise, you need to stop them. You need to fight back. That's what our U.S. Constitution allows us to do, and that's what Martin and I did. Pania said the jury is sending a strong message defending freedom of speech. Joe Carroyo, what he has done to us, to our businesses, to our employees, is wrong, and he does not deserve to be an elected official. The judge has well, the an judge order. I cannot speak, please. I'll be happy to once he lifts it. Carroyo initially not commenting because of a gag order that was in effect at the time. Later, his legal team released a statement saying, in part, we are disappointed with the results. Commissioner Carroyo will seek to exercise all legal rights available to him, including appellate review. Unlike the plaintiffs, who seem to have now resorted to disparaging comments about the commissioner and city of Miami employees, the commissioner will continue to serve all citizens of District 3 and the city of Miami fairly and equally. We asked Miami City Attorney who's on the hook for that $63 million verdict. She did not address that. We spoke to Attorney David Weinstein, a former state and federal prosecutor who is not involved in this case, but who has to pay. As for the damages, that's on the commissioner because the jury found that he acted outside the scope of his authority. The plaintiffs in this case saying this was never about the money, it's about the principle and defending the right to free speech. Meanwhile, Carroyo once again saying he is going to appeal. In Fort Lauderdale, Ted Scout, CBS News, Miami.